Good afternoon! It's been a hot minute since I've made a video. I'm super excited today. I have some newer products that I want to talk about, some things I just received in the mail. New Kosas Foundation, New Juvia's Place Eyeshadow, a little bit of everything I'm excited to use. So that's what we're going to do today. Let's get into it. Now to get started, I would normally start with my foundation. That's what I have been doing. But I did get some new eyeshadow palettes and I'm afraid there may be some like fallout and things like that. So I'm kind of debating if I want to do those first, you know, kind of start with the eyes first. So I think we're going to get the eyeshadow palettes out, go through those, and then we will decide what we're going to do for the rest of this business. I recently placed an order on Juvia's Place because everything was like $4, $6, $9, all those things. I have most of the eyeshadow palettes right here behind me. You can't really see them, but, and so I picked up four more of the six pans and I picked up two of the four pan. I heard these were pretty good, but the other ones were like, it was a gray one and a yellow one. And I thought, you know what? I'm really not going to get that much use out of those. Like I, I have that collector mentality normally of, oh, well, if there's one or two or three, I have to have them all. And I was trying to be real with myself of, I don't love the color story. Like I wouldn't pick up a gray palette and use it. I would use it with something else. And that's kind of what stopped me from grabbing those, knowing that it wouldn't be my first choice to pick up and wear. So I did grab the green ones. I have the Rebel Mints and the Rebel Army. Now I have opened these. Well, I didn't open them. My son opened them and looked through all of them to make sure nothing was broken. He just was excited to open a package. So these, two of these mint ones actually were broken. So I have, there goes a little sheet. I have repressed these two already. So they still need to sit out and dry, but I did repress those. And then here are the matte ones. So I'm going to go ahead and swatch all these things. I'm excited to play with them. So I hope, I'm hoping that I didn't repress these like too hard. Okay. They are pretty light, but they are meant to be, meant to be. <gasps> okay. And I already dropped something. Whoever is counting, I already dropped the, I already dropped the plastic piece for that. I was going to put it back in there so that it, okay. Anyway. I'm going to leave this mint one sitting out and open so that the alcohol will dry in those and we'll see how that sets up. I've completely lost the other eyeshadow palette. I'll put my towel on it. Can you tell I haven't been sitting here in a minute? Okay. All right. Let's pull the plastic off of this one. And this is the Rebel Army. This one looked really, really pretty. I'm going to swatch this. Ooh, that green, that green right here. It's that one. Let's see. <gasps> that is the Rebel Mints and the Rebel Army. Very pretty. Of course, I'm kicking myself that I didn't buy the yellow one or the gray one, but I'm like, okay, stop. I have like four other palettes here I haven't even swatched yet. So that is really pretty. I do want to use that green very, very, very badly. That's very pretty. So there are those. And again, for like six eyeshadow palettes, one having two broken shades. I prefer to have no broken shades, but I think Juvia's Place does a pretty good job of packaging. Big box inside this, and then this has its own bubble wrap sleeve that the palette is in, and I think that's really nice. I think it keeps it safe. Pretty safe anyway. Okay, I also got the Blushed Rose palette. Probably should have unboxed these before I did this, but you know, preparedness. Okay. Here's what this looks like. Now I expected this to be more pinky in the middle. Like it's kind of a more orangey gold shade, which I was kind of surprised. I mean, then again, I didn't really study it on the website. I just assumed, I guess I'm going to double swatch these shimmers. They do feel like the other six pan shimmers where they're a little bit like thicker, almost like it's going to get hard pan, like dipping my finger in, but not quite. So there's that. Very pretty. 
very much what you see is what you get. And that is one I have seen on there for a while and I didn't pick it up because I thought they're usually not worth $15. I know Juvia's Place is going to go on sale. It's kind of like BH Cosmetics was. I know I'm going to be able to get a good deal, so I will usually hold off for that moment. Then I picked up all three of these. The one, two, and three. Olori is how it's spelled. I don't know if I'm saying that correctly. All three of those. One, two, three. Now when these came out, I wanted them. These are beautiful color stories. But again, I waited. I waited for the sale. And then usually you can use like a discount code with it and get a pretty good deal. The greens and teals in here are like beautiful. So let's give this a swatch. That green though, just that on its own. So smart. I like the green and the orange together. Oh, that's almost like a duochrome. Here's what it looks like in the pan in the center. It's like a dark blue, just looking at it, but almost shifts like purple. Now it's green. Okay, is that going to be way better than I thought? I think so. Okay, there's that. The one. Yeah, this this dark blue shade in the middle here is definitely shifting from like a dark blue to a teal to like a purple. Uh, I'm way more excited about that color than I thought I would be now, so that's gorgeous. Loving that. Now I'm kind of glad I picked out a blue shirt. I have a feeling I'm going to be using one of that. One of that. Okay. Now I kind of thought... Once I saw my outfit, I was like, oh, I'll probably reach for this one. But that shade was amazing. I know I'm gushing just over one, one swatch. Relax. Okay. This is the two. Like that one. It's really catching the light in here. Yeah, that also is looking way different in the viewfinder than it looks in front of my face. Everything's looking more teal excuse my trash swatches like usual, but just to give us an idea. <laughs> There's that one. This is definitely what you would expect. Like they're all just dark blue colors. So I would say this is the one I'm least excited about, but when that's usually the case, it's honestly the one I usually love the most, you know, I'm like, Oh, it's going to be okay. And then, you know, I'm gushing over it in a minute. So so there is that. And then number three, the packaging of this one's really pretty. This like mint and peach. I really like that. Now a palette I'm still on the hunt for. I saw someone find the Michaela Glam Light palette at TJ Maxx and they got it for like $14.99. And I was like, I want that. We went to like to TJ Maxx stores and in Marshalls this weekend to try to find it. I was like, I want that so bad for like 15 bucks. Are you serious? I've been loving the glam light formula. So if you have found it, let me know where you're finding it because I, I went everywhere. I even went to a couple Burlington's and no such luck, but I'm looking, I am looking. So anyway, so here's the number three. That middle shade looks really cool almost looks duochrome. So we'll have to see. Let's swatch this out. Oh yeah, it is like a more baby blue. I don't know. That's really pretty. Wow. Again, the shades that I wasn't excited about are the ones that at this point I'm like, Ooh, yeah, that blue is definitely more of like a iridescent shade. Here's what that looks like. Those are my new Juvia's Place palettes that I just got today. So very excited to be using all of these new palettes. Again, not sure where we're headed today, but I just felt like talking about some makeup, putting on some makeup, trying some new things. So now I am going to get to a makeup look eventually. So bear with me. I said, again, long rambling video, just wanted to chat about some makeup. So that's what we're doing right now. The Kosas foundation and concealer. I finally received these in the mail. The shade light neutral 140 and 2.5 C. I have used these like and 
it matched me really, really, really well. I put it on pretty late in the afternoon like it is right now, so I don't really have like a, a feeling about the formula yet, but the color did match me really nicely. I thought it would be too dark by the descriptions, but by the swatches it looked appropriate. You know when you're like torn between a couple because the description of one matches but the look of another matches, so I went by the look and I'm happy with this one. And the concealer seemed pretty good too, 2.5C, so we're going to try these again. Um, in this look. Those I did get off the Kosa's website with their like 20% off sale they were having, so I did pick those up. It is a foundation I've only heard good things about. I've not heard anybody say a negative thing about that Kosa's foundation. Like nobody. It was kind of in the same boat as my LYS foundation that I've only used once or twice as well, so I still want to give, I'm still working on the, trying this one out. But they were ones that I didn't hear bad things. There was no like, oh, it looks cakey, it looks crusty, it's too oily, it's not, doesn't wear. Everybody seemed to love it. So we're going to try out that Cosas foundation. Um, another thing I picked up though from Ross was a, the Fruit Fetish Make It Last Milani. And this is the watermelon kiwi, kiwi watermelon. It's one I don't have. Now I have seven. But um, yeah, it smells, it smells nice. It smells summery. Put a little bit of this on while we're sitting here. I do find that watermelon, when they put it in sprays, it always tends to smell more chemically, like more than any other scent. I don't know why. That's weird. <gasps> it's my washing machine. I thought it was actually a mower. I was about to lose my mind. Okay. So I have a couple other things to talk about. We'll talk about them once we get to them. We're going to go ahead and get started with... I'm going to put on some eye primer. I'm going to put on some eyebrows and a little face primer and decide where I'm going to start and we will be right back. Okay, we have the face primed with my Laura Geller Spackle Primer, primed the eyes with the Juvia's Place Primer. I felt like that was only appropriate and threw some of this Physician's Formula Brow Pencil through my brows. I picked this up in like a three pack at TJ Maxx the other day and it actually looks really nice. I think it's walnut brown. So it's kind of like a reddish tone. It looks pretty good in my brows. And then I use the e.l.f. Brow Lift the little gel one uh, through the brows. So we are ready to start on the eyes. Ultimately, I have decided that is where we're going to start. So I have all of my palettes open here, all three of these. These are the ones I'm going to pick from. I'm going to kind of mix and match whatever shade kind of stood out to me I'm going to use. So here's what we're going to do first. I am going to start with the darkest blue matte in here. This really, like it's almost the exact same color as my shirt. So I'm going to start with that in the outer corner of the eye. I'm just going to pat that on. Ooh, that was nice and deep. Make sure this is smooth, I guess. I guess as if it's a hassle. Oh, I guess I'll make sure it's smooth. So we're just going to blend that onto the outer, outer, outer corner. That is really pretty. And I am starting with the darkest blue so that it will be this color. I don't want to put it over something else and have it be less intense. I want this to stick to the eyeshadow primer and be the full opacity that it can be. I don't even know if that was grammatically correct, but we're moving on. Uh, so putting this on to the outer, outer, outer corner. And I do want to kind of apply it in like an upward motion, but I'm not too worried about that at this point because I can always go back and correct it. You know, I don't have my face makeup done yet, so we can go back in and reshape that if, if it gets a little out of control, which let's be honest, it normally does. <laughs> so, <laughs> okay. I think there's a day goes by where I don't go, whoa, that got out of hand. I really like the color of this blue though. Like that's so nice. Yes, this, this does not look great right now. That's okay, we're just going to put on more. Keep it going. Okay, so we have that blue, dark blue outer corner kind of where we want it. For what I'm going to do right now, I'm going to take the matte green in the number one. Take this matte green over here and put that next 
into the blue. Kind of blending that in. So we're blending that green into the blue. Now with how intense that blue is, this green looks like a nothing, but it really is a beautiful green shade. It really is. And I'm just like tapping. I'm like tapping into these shades. They are so pigmented. Oh, and you know what else I did see on sale? Um, for the Ulta Summer Sale or something? The Nabla, like blushes and bronzers and stuff like that, like their skin glazes. I have those in my cart. I did not purchase them, but I have them in my cart. I have heard good, 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 good things. But I don't always love a really glowy product. You know, sometimes it emphasizes texture and stuff like that, and I have oily skin. So I'm kind of like, eh, do I do it? But I have one of each in my cart. <laughs> it's waiting on me to decide. Okay, I'm gonna take, since there are peaches and oranges in like all of these palettes here, I'm going to use you know, we're just going to go for it in the other palette. We're going to go for this. I think we're just going to go for the peachy one. I was going to use this bright orange, but I think we'll go for like this peachy pink here and see. I'm going to kind of put this through the crease. And I have switched brushes here to a different, like a fluffier brush. Do this to both sides here. I'm really liking the peach with the green and the blue. And I'm not done yet with the green and the blue. Like those are not done being blended. So but I am gonna go ahead and pull this just over the top of everything. Just kinda grazing it over the top. Just to kinda pull it all together. Like I said, we're not done yet. I keep looking through the crack in my door. My kids keep telling me they come up and they'll just stand there while I'm filming. <laughs> I've never noticed them do that. Like I've, they always either come in or I hear them come up, but they are like, yeah, I'm standing there staring through the door. And I'm like, I never noticed it while editing. Cause I'm sure that'd be the creepiest thing ever. So I don't know if they're really doing that or not. Now I'm going to take that brighter orange. That was really bright. Do I want to do that yet? Um, I'm going to tap a little bit right there. Just go a little bit into the actual crease and see what we think. This may be too much. As if there's such a thing. I'm hilarious. Okay. I am trying to not mix it too much with the green. The orange and the green will get a little bit muddy. You know, just kind of that nature of it. It'll just turn brown. I'm going to take that small brush again that I had before and go back into the green. We're just going to kind of intensify all of this and blend it into that orange a little bit because I am going to put one of those like shimmers right there on the lid. It's going to be good. I'm excited. I think I'm going to use a glitter glue though because if they're anything like the ones in the other six pans, the ones that are really glittery are like, they're almost like a topper shade where there's not a lot of pigment, but it's like really, really glittery. So I want to make sure that I'm getting the glitter to stay on my eye. Now I'm going to go back in with, this is actually like a more of a blending kind of brush. And I'm going to take that dark blue that I used the first time. And I'm going to put that on the outer corner and really blend that into the green. It is this brush that has glitter in it. Do you remember me talking about that the other day? I used this brush and it was like psh, glitter all over the place. That's the brush. That's the brush that has glitter in it. Okay, let's find another one. I have the same brush that looks like it has glitter in it too. So let's look over here. Okay, this looks to be also a glittery brush. Oh my gosh. You know, maybe I need to wash my brushes. Okay, this one seems to be okay. I'm gonna grab my blue with this one. Okay, this doesn't seem as glittery. That looks kind of fun. I'm gonna take the green on the same brush. Green here. 
Then we're going to go in with some of those shimmery shades. I want like all of the shimmers on my eyes. The one that was kind of a duochrome, the one that looked like a topper, this one that looks just like a beautiful teal, and then there's like that coppery orange one. Like I literally want to wear them all right now. But I've used enough mattes now that I probably shouldn't do that. But I'm, I might, I might go there. Okay. So we have this. Here are the mattes. Loving that. Like that just looks so fun. I'm going to take the brush I used with the orange and just quickly dust that over the edge of the green and such. Now I could have started with the orange as like a transition and then worked everything else into it, but I wanted the blue and the green to be like as vibrant and as deep and bright as they can be, and then just kind of like fading it into the orange. That's why I did it that way. So you could do it the other way. Just start as like a transition shade with the orange. Uh, we'll work on the outer corner. It's not quite quite where I want it. It's a little bit jagged looking, so <laughs> we'll deal with that in a minute. Okay, for that inner corner though, what do I want to do? Because I want to use these and I want to use these. Maybe, see in here, like these look so beautiful in the viewfinder. In person, this looks like a dark blue and that looks just like a teal. And with the light hits it, it's like this gorgeous like green. I don't know. Whoa. Okay. I think maybe we'll go with like this one in the inner corner, like full on do that. And I'm going to get out my glitter glue just so this sticks wherever I put it. I'm going to take this across here onto the green. The green is kind of our transition shade going this way instead of going this way. Take a little more on the other side. I'm going to see how these apply with a brush. I'm going to try my large shader. I'm going to go into the shade down here and I'm going to apply this all over the lid. This to me is a very unexpected duochrome. On my eye it looks bright green. In this pan right now it looks the same color as my shirt and it's kind of reflecting into a teal on the viewfinder. Wow. I like to be able to say that about a shade. Wow. <laughs> Not what I was expecting. And speaking of eyeshadow, I heard BH is coming out with a new travel series. I am so excited for that. I've been like religiously checking their, <laughs> their website. I don't have TikTok or anything like that so I know I I'm pretty sure that's where it was like where people saw the announcement beautiful oh that's so pretty so pretty oh my gosh okay um I'm gonna take a little bit of this this like baby blue out of this one this like center baby blue teal kind of shade I'm gonna tap that like right here let's see what this does definitely changed it Get like a purpley blue in the center. Okay, I'm really having fun with this right now. Oh my gosh, these are so pretty. Okay, now they kind of did a weird thing where it kind of broke up the green, like that was smoothly going from green to green to blue, and now it's kind of like green, blue, green, purpley. I don't even care. I don't even care. I think that's so pretty. I think I put on too many things. It got a little muddy looking, like it's all just kind of this one green, blue color but individually, those are so pretty. I'm gonna keep these out. I'm gonna do the lower lash line and all that in a minute. I think we'll go with a little bit of black eyeliner. The Physician's Formula Waterproof, like always. Do a little wing here. feel pretty good about that. I'm going to go ahead and apply some mascara to the top lashes and then we'll be back to use that Kosas foundation. Okay, now that we have our eyeliner and mascara applied, so just a couple of essence mascaras, of course. 
we are going to apply the Kosas foundation. Now, I have used this twice. This will be the third time I've applied it. The first time I kind of used some powders that were newer that I don't use all the time and I did not like the way this looked. So I'm going to use the powders I used last time and those powders were the Maybelline Fit Me 05. I used this under my eyes and the CoverGirl Clean Fresh I used all over my face. I used like a, um, what do you call it, like a face palette last time, Beach Cosmetics one, and it was kind of a mess. I didn't love it. So we're going to use the e.l.f. all over face sponge for this. And I'm just going to apply a pump of this onto my sponge. I'm going to take that sponge and dot it all over my face. And then we'll add more if we need to. Now the claims on this are medium coverage. Let me look. I don't have it quite memorized. This is the Kosas Revealer Skin Improving Foundation Medium Coverage Natural Dreamy Finish. That's what I thought it said. And I would say that that is accurate. Also, it was pretty dewy. Which I guess would be the dreamy finish to it. I don't know. I'm going to add another pump though for this side. My sponge did not soak up much of that product. So we're just going to use a whole another full pump. And this is the shade Light Neutral Light Neutral 140. And it really is a good shade match for me, honestly. I was kind of surprised. I've been doing pretty well with the shade matching, like with the LYS and with this one and uh, the Catrice foundation. I feel like for a while I was going like way too light when I would order online. And then I would kind of overcompensate and go way too dark. But lately I've been like really looking at swatches and then I'll like look up swatches, even not on the site, you know, kind of go to Google and YouTube because I feel like the undertone really makes a big difference for me. If I can get one that's a more neutral undertone, I can make it work a lot easier than something that's like so, so, so light or really, really, really warm. In those cases, I normally just like, well, I'll mix it and then I just never do. This has, is looking really nice. It's looked really nice the past couple times. It's not super full coverage. It doesn't claim to be. I've said that before. I want it to be what it says. It says medium coverage. Okay. Fair enough. It is. Now, this is my third time using it and it looks nice. I'm going to go ahead and apply my concealer. 2.5C. Now this claims super creamy and brightening concealer free of all kinds of junk. It's concealer. It's skincare. It's both. Medium coverage, super creamy concealer, eye cream, and spot treatment in one that visibly brightens and helps reveal better skin. So medium coverage on this as well. But sometimes it's better if I have like minimal feelings about it because honestly sometimes that means I really like it. If something's a bad product, I'm like, yeah, this yikes is awful. You know, I'll try it a couple more times and be like, no, I hate it. If something is like pretty decent or I, I like it, then I kind of just am like, yeah, I kind of like it. But then I find myself using it all the time. That's kind of where I think I'm going to end up with a lot of these foundations. I still need to try these out a little bit more. The LYS and the Catrice also, the True Skin. I need to try these two out a lot more as well as with the Kosas. So I think I might make up a little basket. I'm going to go ahead and blend this in with my sponge. Make up a little basket of things that I want to try over the next couple of weeks. I don't normally do that. Like I kind of have my whole collection like at my disposal at all times. <laughs> you know, I don't like it to be far from me. But okay, definitely medium coverage. Looks pretty. Um, and I did better at picking this shade than I thought. It looked really light in the tube and I was like, uh-oh. But it definitely is peachy. They didn't have a more neutral tone. I don't know if they don't sell one or there wasn't one in stock that was like a neutral version. Like when you got back to a neutral, it was either like super, super light or a lot darker than I wanted it to be. Now I feel like this looks pretty nice. Like right here, you know, it kind of smooths over the pores but it doesn't my skin has been looking really rough lately like my skin just by itself you probably noticed as i was putting eyeshadow on really has been like 
texture, like a lot of texture here, a lot of pores. So this looks nice on top of all of that, like it doesn't emphasize anything. It's laying really smooth on the skin. You know, it looks like my skin texture, so it doesn't make it better, but it doesn't emphasize it. Is that making sense? So I feel like that's how sometimes I, I end up loving a product where I'm like, it's okay, it doesn't make it look worse, but it's not, you know, working any miracles. And then it turns out like it's one of my favorite things ever. I don't know. Does anybody else do that? You know, not a lot of emotions probably better than like, whoa, yikes, not having it moving on kind of emotion. So there is that foundation and concealer. It looks pretty nice. I have no complaints. I have nothing negative to say about it, but I'm not going to say it's an absolute favorite at the moment. All right, I'm going to go in with that foundation, foundation, that powder, Fit Me Powder in 05 under the eye. Definitely setting it. But yeah, this powder worked so much better with this concealer. It looked really good. I don't know if you can tell. Like it just sets it really, really nicely. Doesn't add any texture, doesn't add any heaviness. But I used like a like contour palette skin tone powder and that was cakey. That did not look nice. So once I'm done with this, I was going to go under the eyes before I powdered like with my eyeshadow and I thought it looks really nice. I don't want to mess it up. It looks good. We're going to set it and then I can scrape off the eyeshadow later. So I'm going to take that CoverGirl Clean Fresh in the shade Fair and apply that all over the rest of my face. This is definitely like dewy. You can feel that it's there. So I do want to set it. This is another one of those products where if you asked me when I first started using like, is this amazing? I'd be like, it's okay. It works like a powder. But you can almost see the rings on this. I don't know if you can tell. No, you can. You can almost see the rings on it. Like, I've used it that much and I have all those other powders. So I feel like this is that kind of product where I'm like, yeah, yeah, it is a favorite. Where I'm like, don't even realize it. You don't even realize it, how much you like it. You're just like, eh, it works well, I'll use it. Not realizing, like, it's the only thing you're using, you know. Did I say using or realizing? I don't know. Anyway, now we're going to finish up the eyes while we're here. Okay, I'm going to start with that blue, of course, that dark blue that we used in the outer corner. We're going to grab that on this little tiny brush. I want to be careful with the blue on the lower lash line. I don't want it to look like, you know, adding to an under eye bag or anything. So we're going to take a tiny brush into that matte blue shade. Outer corner. Really get that into the lashes. And I don't want to take that too far across. You can see how far I went, like the outer corner of the like colored part of my eye. The iris? Is that what it's called? I'm totally drawing a blank right now, like your <laughs> the eye. Oh my gosh. This is matching up all of the blue with the blue on the top. Like that one. Again, got a little away from me. As per usual. Oh man. Okay, don't do that. Don't do that. Don't rub your hand across it. Grab your sponge that you've lost and tap over that. I'm going to grab, I'm basically going to put this up. I think I'm, I'm going to be done with that one for now. I'm going to take, there was a drop. If you didn't count the plastic, that was a drop. Let's get that off the floor. Mascara never fails. Okay. I'm going to take this shade. I wanted to use this and I'm going to take that like all around the inner corner. Now this could look a little bit wild or whatever, but I just want to use it. So that's more what I'm going for with this is kind of trying these colors and these products. I'm going to use this little brush that I used for the blue. I wiped it off. I did wipe it off. I'm going to put that right here. Hmm. I might need a different brush though. Yeah, let me see if I can find a different brush for this. I don't know. That's always my struggle when putting like really shimmery shades on like the inner corner because they don't want to pick up on any brush that's small. Okay, let's run that across the lower lash. 
And I'm like really picking this up on this brush. I want that color to show up. All right, and I'm not gonna take it all the way across. I'm just gonna take it like there to that other side of the iris. We're gonna go with iris. I hope that's right. Looks almost like a coppery shade in here. Ooh, that light's hitting it nicely. But it is really an orangey kind of color. And I did finally get to pick up on like this little, little tiny flat brush. This is the, I know it's written in the lip. Oh, it's the lip brush, okay. Yeah, it picks up on the one side you meant for your eyes. The lip brush. Then we'll go with that same brush we used for the blue into the green matte here. It's over here. And we'll put that on the center of the bottom lid. Blending that into the blue. Okay, I'm going to take this peach right here and I'm going to run that along the lower lashes kind of like I did up here with it like above everything we're going to do the same thing but below kind of trying to tie it all together a little bit okay as this foundation and concealer is sitting on my skin it actually looks really nice it's kind of settling in and I've noticed that the past couple of times that it just it looks nicer as the day goes on it doesn't look dry or cakey or anything even after I've powdered it so that's nice I don't know I got all kinds of choices here maybe I'll take this penny shade I feel like it might be like a coppery pinky kind of moment if you can really see it very reflective again one of those shockwave pencils love these I'm just gonna put that on the lower lash line it has to be a different dog barking that's not my neighbor dog He's much less aggressive than that. A little bit of mascara on the lower lashes. Again, essence, of course, but of course. And you guys, look at my contour powder. It's almost gone. We're getting so close. I debated, like, do I do try to do like an empties video, like save this for that, and I thought I will never actually finish enough products for an empties video there's no way I don't know how people do those like multiple times a year I mean I use up eyebrow pencils maybe maybe a pressed powder if I'm lucky but you know like I never use up actual like full products so I may just talk about it as I go you know <laughs> I don't know contour the cheeks a little bit. I've really been liking this uh, small contour brush from Sigma. Do a little bit on the chin just just because I'm really like this eye look. The orange with the teal. Like I just keep glancing like here and here like it doesn't look the same. It just looks like different facets. It's really cool. Now another new product that I, I picked up like recently, I've seen this several times and I was always like, oh, I don't know if I should get that. Do I need this? Probably not. The Estee Lauder Bronze Goddess in 01 Light. The packaging of this is so pretty. Like this just looks, it's like that, is it tortoise shell? I don't know. This just looked really cute. It comes with this little brush that you could actually use like as a brush. Not quite the physician's formula of foam pokey stick thing that they send with it. What are you doing physician's formula? Anyway, uh, here's what the inside looks like. Super, super light. So we'll see if this even shows up at all. Because I am not more than light. Okay. Okay, this gives me a little something. Like I'm definitely going in to the pan. I'm not like being really close. Eh. I caught it. <laughs> I got it. Okay. I'm not having any more drops today. We've already fulfilled our quota. Okay. Yeah. That is really, really light. Really, really light. But I like that. It does look like you can tell I have a little bit of bronzer on. But I'm definitely like swirling it around and not getting a ton. Okay. That's kind of nice though. You don't want to be careful. 
What is that in color? For sure. For sure. Okay. I also got the It Cosmetics Warm Radiance. The Ombre Radiance Bronzer in Warm Radiance. And this was an interesting component. It's clear on the top. I have swatched these like this way. You can see my little swirly print. Uh, this also looks pretty light, but this looks like more of a shimmery bronzer. So I got picked up more product. Yeah, I feel like that's got a little bit more color to it. Could just because I'm adding it on top of the other bronzer, but okay. We're going to stop there before I go too crazy. But those are two bronzers I picked up recently and I love a good giant bronzer. Like honestly, if it comes in a compact that is like way oversized as a bronzer, I love that. Okay, now I want to do some blush and for that, this Milani blush, the Sunset Passion blush. I don't know. I just was looking through here the other day and I saw this one and I thought, I haven't used that in a minute. It's so pretty. Grab my Sigma angled brush. I like the way that looks. I'm happy with this. Okay. That is a lot of blush. I would not have it any other way. For highlighter, I'm going to use the Fenty Beauty, the Sandcastle, and Minted Mojito. I'm going to mix these two together. I haven't used this probably since I bought it. And we're going to use it today. I don't normally go for like a mint on the cheeks, but we're going to give it a go. That may have been entirely too much. Whoa, Nelly. Okay, we're gonna blend that in. Blend it in with our nice fluffy brush. And then I'm gonna take both of my guests down the nose a little bit. Might as well. And since I have this out, I think I'm gonna also grab a smaller brush and put this on the inner corner, like the mint green shade. Just taking the mint green here the minted mojito and put that kind of on the inner corner just to liven that up a bit. Okay, that looks good. I like the way that, that looks. It looks almost silvery. But you can tell it's kind of a minty color. For lips, I have no idea what I want to do. So let me figure that out and we will be right back. Okay, I think I found some things for the lips here. We're going to go with this e.l.f. lip liner in Nude 01. Just line the lips with that. This is definitely going to be more of a nude lip because this eye is really gorgeous. I don't want to take away from that. Okay, so that's just a rough outline here. This pencil is about the color of my lips, so. I'm going to take the Bobbi Brown lipstick in Angel. Just kind of this like pinky nude. kind of peachy nude. The Bobbi Brown lipsticks are such a weird formula. It's almost this like waxiness to them. All right there's a peachy nude lip. I usually don't go for a, a nude like peach but it's looking good with this. Then finally I'm gonna go in with this Buxom full-on plumping lip polish in Soulmate. I really like this one. It's like this warm shimmery glittery I don't know, it's really pretty. Oh, do I hear a mower? I do. I think we beat them. Somebody's powered up the mower. And we're at the end. Finally, it's timed correctly. Yay! Okay. So, here we have our finished look. Loving this. We have on the Kosas foundation and concealer looking really, really, really pretty. Again, it doesn't cover everything on my skin, but it doesn't enhance the bad things about my skin. So I've been enjoying it so far. And then we also applied, I'm trying to talk loudly over the mower and move this along. Juvia's Place palettes, got a little bit of everything. These turned out beautifully. I really like the way that this looks, if you cannot tell. So that is it. We'll let the mower finish his job. I hope you enjoyed this video for today. I hope you'll consider subscribing and I will see you next time. Bye.